I'm often asked what, what role I played in the writing. And, and I, <clears throat> I was a showrunner and executive producer, but of, but of course, because Jane was my world, I'd, I'd written all the characters and, and I had the storyline of her life before we made the TV show. <clears throat> so I, was ha I had to make all the writers who came on board aware of which slice of Jane's life the stories were uh, inside of. So that was important. Um, I had a wonderful bunch of writers and they would send in thumbnails and sometimes I gave thumbnail ideas out for key episodes where we needed certain things to happen. But um, then they would turn those into treatments. The biggest job I had, I guess, um, if you like script editing it into to create a consensus about the world was, was that to remind the writers, and it didn't take long for them to get it, they were, they were brilliant, is that these were real stories, social stories, about a, a, a living, breathing, real girl. She just happened to have a dragon. So these weren't fantasy stories. There were no goblins, no magicians, no, um, and, and there were no real baddies. Um, there's Magnus, the, the, uh, the father of Gunther and Gunther himself. Um, but they, they were just spoilers. They weren't really evil folk um, because the stories were about, were simple stories about the social life of the castle and the pressures that came to bear on Jane and the moral compass that she steered through, through each story to try and deliver a good outcome for other people while still holding true to her values.